Hello, folks, and welcome back to Crown Trick. Right, we had a really rough time last time with the frickin' debuff of Doom, so hopefully we get a better fight this time. For those keeping track, this is round number 14. Hoping for a better dungeon-wide curse? Aspect? Whatever the hell they're called. I mean, some of them are great. Some of them are just absolutely horrible. Obtain one stack damage for every turn. Al stays in one place. However, random elements damage kits will be applied in the fifth stack. Okay, that's not... It's not great. It's not horrible. Ocean Depths again, start us off. Push your giants, just increase our, our HP, sure. Increase the absorption amount of all shields obtained by 20%. It's not bad. And Scroll Storm is just okay. Every attacks hit, 10% chance of spout of water will be summoned, dealing water damage to a round target with a 5x5 square area around you and leave them behind a water tile. When you blink, you have a 5% chance to consume no blinks. It's alright. I mean, the water gives us um, more physical damage on the bad guys. That's not terrible. Attack hits more than two targets. Silence all targets hit. Attacks never miss. The attacks never miss is kind of nice, but um, only bosses really can dodge attacks. We've never really seen it to any minions or elites. On hit, reduce the elemental defense of your target. Okay. Every fifth successful attack will scorch all targets struck. When you blink, you have 5% chance to print only 5%? Oh, this one's 5% too. Okay. I kind of like the trident more. I mean, the scorch could be good. Every fifth attack's not too many. What, uh, what do we got here? I wonder if this actually helps me at all. Um, crystallized frost actually in the ocean depths. You're going to get a lot of guys for a weak to ice. Or fire, but... Actually, I do like Heart of the Flame a lot. Yeah, Vortex of Explosions and Fire Pillars under all enemies is really good. This one is Cage of Eternal Frost. Freezing all enemies. And Ice Bolt in a Straight Line. The freeze does no damage, though. The, the, both of these do damage. Invincible for one turn. Every damage received, receive more skill power for the next skill used. Swing your weapon on a wide slash, doing 70 wind damage. Throw your distance to target, the higher the damage. Which, combined with this, could be really good. You know, I don't think we've really used Sean all that much. Let's try Sean out. No, 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 no. I wanted to actually do it, though. I wanted to actually do it. There you go. Okay. Let's grab the trident, and we're good to go. Let's get out of here. Okay. Shark Man is a little annoying because I was sort of a harpoon. Gotta remember we have range. So I prefer if the range was three instead of just two, but we're gonna deal with it. Breaks, you dropped your dream key, which is also great. Thank you. Oh, and there's no way out of here. Okay, I thought for some reason there was a way out of this room. There is not. We're out of Phoenix Feather, so what the hell? Just use it. Uh, Placid Lava means we're immune to Scorch. Plus, Resurrection means we don't die. I guess we'll go with the Elemental Abnormality, sure. Why not? Only for this immediate area. Not even the boss, so... Whatever. It's just a nice little random buff. And that's it. Okay. 600 gold? Something. Cannon Man looks like he's ready to go. Okay, come up here. Poke Cannon Man. Gotta move, right? Yeah, he's gonna throw his harpoon, so we gotta move. Oh, but I could become an invincible, right? 
Yeah, it's become invincible. There's a harpoon. I take no damage. Here and oh. Actually, come down here and throw this. There we go. He's out. You just move backwards? Oh, because they get shelled. They get. Yeah, they get a shell aspect. Physical defense and the elemental defense to all adjacent target edge adjacent targets will be decreased to zero. And increase your maximum HP by ten. Interesting. Try it out. And at the very least, until we leave the floor, we could just come back here. Shade it out again. Turns out I don't like it. Okay, we do have two dream keys. Definitely worth looking at those. The mushroom, I don't remember what it does. I really wish it told you on hover. Yeah, you know, we just have no idea. I think what it's supposed to be, I think what they're trying to do is a very, uh, I don't know, Binding of Isaac type of thing, is make all the items distinctive so that experienced players can look at them and go, oh yeah, that's the yada 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 thing. So obviously that's going to be better than the yada yada yada. You know, just make informed decisions, but we don't know what they are yet. Armor Brambles could be good. Relic Blueprint's probably not a bad idea to grab, especially on the first floor. Because we're pretty likely to make it to the next floor, which means we'll get to a shop and be able to drop off our, our stuff. Um, I mean, this is just going to help us on this floor. This is a relic. I'm going to grab the relic. Normal attack damage, 50%. Be oh, MP cost goes up. Okay, well... Might not be the greatest idea, but I did it. Rusty robot in the shape of a young boy turns to you. It's nose almost long enough to poke me in the eye. Hey there, friend. Everyone tells me I need to stop lying in order to be a real boy and trick my nose. But don't they see? Lies make the world go round. You think so too, don't you? Argue that lies don't have a place in the world. Do not show dis your disdain so quickly. Another friend of mine, well, extra friend of mine, he sells all, sells all kinds of strange items in the dream realm. I've let him one too many times from him to forgive me. Do me a ton of favor by telling him I perish in this endless maze. I'm sure I'll be ever so delighted. Okay, so we get 25% off discount. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. And we don't have any downsides doing that, so why not? Uh, no. No, 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 no. I don't like... I mean, we should... Should we try it? We might actually, like, win out, right? The sword here would be fantastic, whatever that turns out to be. Okay, what the hell? Just try it. Let's just do it. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, then. That's not going to encourage me to never do that again. Deal credit left to an image to also achieve one random element status. Great. The sword does plus eight damage. Attacks will not immediately deal damage. Instead, explosion will be triggered in the three square area in the direction of the attack one turn later. All right, we'll try that out. Sure. Holy crap. Spent a hundred. Got a ton of shit. Crystallized Frost, dude. Um, I can't poke you from here, right? So, I think I just need to wait for you. I mean, the damage is actually really good there. The explosion actually worked out. I'm going to teleport up here so I can get both of you guys in this hit. Then I'm going to teleport away because you're about to explode. Teleport over here and poke you. And I want to run away again. Yeah, this the sword just takes some getting used to. Because the explosion is not always dependable. Yeah, see, it does an explosion in like an area around, which is interesting, but not necessarily. Yeah, I don't know about this. That was a good attack, though. Okay, I'm gonna broke him. There. Oh, 
Oh, I freaking walked into the explosion. Okay, no, no, no. The sword's not good. I'm gonna get rid of it. Somebody else. Oh, there's a siren in here. I was forgetting about the damn sirens. Great. One more over. There we go. It's a good hit. Um, here I'm gonna come down here. Attack me. How are we not blown up? You're supposed to blow up. That's how this was supposed to work. She won't blow up. I don't have enough magic to do anything else. Uh, here, do this. Yeah, that kind of sucked. I'll do almost anything else. Generate an oil tile when attacking enemies two tiles away. If an enemy is already on top of the oil tile, more tiles will be formed around the target. Yeah, sure, why not? The sword, the exploding sword, is just not good for me. I just can't get my head around it. Remember your skills deal damage, remove 10 shield, and increase damage done. And they obtain two random relics, that's probably the way to go. Deal skill damage, you will tame a shield equivalent, or shield equal to 10% damage inflicted. Lasting three turns. I kind of want this, because there's two random relics. Let's do it. Okay, what do we get? We got skill power plus 30% when on top of electricity. Okay. I'm dealing fire damage to scorch targets, or scorch charm will be refreshed. Thought that was already true, but sure. Okay. Now you're too close. I can't get you from here. Oh no, okay, sorry. I thought I was using the sword still, but no, I'm using the lance. Okay, so I just need you guys to. Okay, I need to get any closer, apparently. I'll be immune this turn. Then come over here and poke this guy. To death. Probably should have taken some additional protections there. So I can kill you. Okay. So I have you, though. Oh, you still got me. Okay, it's fine. A little bit of physical damage never hurt anybody. Aside from all the people we killed. But aside from that, hardly anybody. Nobody that counts. King Octo. What does that do? Launch harpoons for headshots. Okay, sure. Line this up. Okay, King Octo. You're gonna try to shoot me. I can shoot you first. I think this does more. Wow. I don't know if that was actually true, though. Okay, let's do cannon damage here. I mean, he's only got... Yeah, it's a start, start of return, so we just gotta break the shield. Uh, let's do the scroll of Earth. Oh, no, it's not yet, not yet. You get broken. You still get a shield at the, end, at the end of return, but you're gonna die. Yeah, okay, from Mortal War, it's water spirit death. Getting over to Octo here is going to be an issue. Two, one. Definitely worth poking. Let's move over here and poke you. Moved over here. That's too far. Probably worth it being away from them, right? I don't want to be directly next to them. I think blinking every time to get away from them totally works out. Two, one. This is gonna break him. I'm pretty sure this is gonna break him, so he's not gonna do the attack anyway. Yeah, okay, and killed him actually, so great. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. When attacking, consume 10 MP to increase normal damage by 50%. Maybe? Our skills right now are using a ton of MP. I'd rather get something to reduce that. Damage damage to all enemies in the adjacent four tiles. 5% chance to also scorch. Maybe? We're doing an axe. This would actually be really good. Because extra damage, but I don't know. Our skills deal damage, remove 10 shield, increase damage done with shield use by 50%. I think let's just boost our regular normal attack damage. 
It means I can use skills left often, but I shouldn't need to because the normal attacks are already going to be pretty, pretty, tough, pretty good, hopefully. Definitely take the cannon. We're going to need that. And no way to go there. Okay. Familiar, yes. Second familiar would be great. Uh, Night of Eternal Frost might be the way to go here. Right? Hold on. Condensed Ice Fields is specified location. Ice Nova is specified. Okay, both those are damage. That's great. Violent Earthquake or Charge. And of course the Spike. Um, I think we go. Yeah, yeah. Because most, most likely, the bad guys around here are going to be weaker to ice. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to be able to use it, because magic is an increased price right now, but hopefully that won't be too much for us. Okay, we got to take care of the reinforcement dude. He did poison himself, though, so that's great. Can I just drop something on you? Okay, actually, I can do this. This right here will help, I think. That's pretty solid. He did still call reinforcements, though. Because he's a dick. Alright. We can poke you. You can take the hit. That's okay. So, I probably don't want to take that hit. Okay, drink. Don't have a drink for a boss, but that's how it goes sometimes. Well, we keep on getting pirate cannons. That's great. Let's see what the store has for us. 1,400 gold? We should definitely be able to afford something. Pistol of Lightning. Axe of the Beast Lord. Okay, an axe, not a bad idea. After seven hits, trigger an extra normal attack. And the staff. Chamber Switch Familiars, gain HP. 30% chance crit damage you deal with Grill Strike will be increased by 150%. Obtain a block buff. 30% chance to nullify. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's do this. This is our upgrade. This is our, sorry, this is our discount, because we mentioned to the guy that Pinocchio's dead, so we can get this at a discount for only 465. I'll do it. So, chance to block is great. Damage reduced by 30% for auto reflect armor. Um, I mean, I hope they don't get up that close, but they likely will, right? So, this isn't a bad idea either. I might even be able to do one more. Ah, they have to be frozen for that, which maybe helps. Like, we do have a skill that lets them be frozen, so that might be a thing. Skill power plus 1% for 20 points of current HP. Mm, maybe. The Axe of the Beast Lord's kind of tempting. I mean, the Lance is okay, but with the reflective, the auto-reflective armor makes the Axe of the Beast Lord more tempting. I mean, it does mean I have to go right up to them, but maybe that's okay. Crit damage dealt. So I think I have to choose, right? I don't think I can do both of these. Axe of the Beast Lord's 296. Yeah, it's only, that's 494, so I can't do both of these. I have to pick. I mean, I can do the staff. Which is more damage on both. Well, 15% chance to cast fire on the target, make them scorched. Makes me immune to drenched and greasy. Oh, yeah, that makes it so I can't afford the other one. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We done with this floor? We are not. So I might get a little bit more gold and actually be able to get the other relic. It's like 465, right? Ah, uh, well, not gold necessarily. You'll bleed until you kill an enemy. Oh. Talk about the wrong order. Unless there's an extra room in here I didn't see, but no. The enemy has to be the boss, which will not work for me. Nope. Nope, that's just bad, bad timing. Bad room placement, or bad relic, or cursed chest placement, or whatever the hell you want to blame it on. Alright, Neptune, let's do it. Okay, 
She's got to get to her. She just gave herself 200 health there. Or 200, uh, anything. Um, come up here. Oh, you're gonna attack me, aren't you? Okay, let me just move away. Okay, that still worked. Blink. I don't want to be anywhere near that, so I'm going to go down here. Two, one, click over here. Let's get away from the wind. I got some magic back. Which means I could launch... Yeah, condensed icicles right here. I love my color rose again. Alright. So I'm going to break her, but didn't work out. You just called for help. Oh, I hate these guys. Can I stop you guys from coming at me? Oh, I don't have enough magic to do anything. So I can do this. Up a little bit. Okay, no, that totally worked. All right, and come down here. Poke her. She's taking a ton of damage here. Great for me. Oh, I'm under condition. Right, right, right. I need to keep on moving. Keep forgetting about that part. Okay, got all of our blinks back, which is great. She did actually get scorched. She's gonna blink away, but then she just died. She died immediately after she blinked away. That was great. Okay, what do we got? 80% to all enemies adjacent. Whenever your shield absorption damage reduced or amount is reduced, deal amount of damage once to random enemy. Any enemy without critting, attain a 5% crit chance. Oh yeah, this just keeps on stacking. This one's great. I like this one. More chances to crit. I like it. Ah, uh, sure, attack up. Why not? Okay. 735, not bad. See if we can afford anything in the store. Can't unfortunately go down to the secret store at all, but that's all right. Oh, hey, and guess what? On this run, we can actually use the mermaid. Huzzah! Sorry, that really annoyed me last time. There we go. That goes away. What do I get? I could get the Axe of Fury. Does do more damage. Which you defeat an enemy, gain five attack... Five turns, max three stacks. I wish it was every damn every enemy hit. Yeah, I'm not wild about that. Okay, unstable reinforced shield would give us just shield for a little bit. Teleportation. Okay, that's not bad. Can a stack of this effect whenever a buff falls off. On five stacks, all damage dealt will be increased by 30%. Okay, it's alright. Whenever you enter the floor with a different type of weapon. Oh, we have to keep on changing our weapon to make that happen? I don't know about that one. Unaffected by all elemental tiles. Yes, absolutely. Oh, I can't. It's 946. God damn it. I like both of these. We can't do it. Can't do it. I mean, the weapon drum could be really interesting, right? It makes you change up your run as you go. That's kind of cool. But yeah, more gold than we have. I can afford this one. But it's kind of terrible. There's a reason why it's for sale. I think instead I'm going to go and buy the bottle of poison, and I think that's it. Type of magical orbs of random elemental aspects. The actual happens to be that our target's weakness. Apply an elemental debuff the same aspect as well. Well, it does decrease all mana costs, which is nice. The damage on it's really bad, though. Yeah, I think no. I think we'll go and keep the staff. We're good. Actually, do I want to change the aspect here? Don't we have another secret aspect we don't know about? I mean, immune to drenched and greasy is okay. But I wonder if we can get something better. Uh, crit damage by 50%, max MP up, or skill power up. Hmm. Well, we have a good chance of getting the crits now, so maybe we get crit damage up. Because that'll be pretty nice, I think. 
The immunity damage in Greasy is nice, but we don't really need it. Hopefully. Instantly gets hit with the Drenched. Or Greasy, I guess. Could probably be really bad, too. I think that increases our elemental vulnerability. Okay, Roma Kings. Gotta fight off Vlad. Hopefully not chest Vlad, but we'll see. Well, there's no chess pieces immediately here, so maybe? Okay, don't step on that trap. Good pro tip. I could get to you, but I don't know if it's going to take you out. I'm going to try it. It's a lot of damage on all those guys. I'll take the hit. I can't do it again. Um, I can bomb you. Easy. Interesting that he still died to fire. I would kind of expect him to be immune. You just poke me? Did you just poke me, sir? Fucking poke me. Okay, the room isn't actually clear. I thought it was. Oh, because there's a freaking pawn or something in here. Okay, he died. That was easy. Some good damage. When you're standing still, you're, you gain a stack of attack plus three. Oh, except we have the freaking unfazed buff up here. The random elemental status condition. So we already kind of already have the attack, the damage up buff, but we can't... No, the Shunzan's a bad choice for this. Why do I always get the Shunzan whenever we have this debuff? Or I guess, what do they call this? I don't know. Dream Realm buff or Dream Realm aspect, whatever the hell that thing is. Skill's also able to crit. 30% chance to silence the attacker. Obtaining a buff for 20% chance the second buff is in effect to be obtained. Reduce max HP of elites. For every enemy I'll defeat, small buff be applied. Raise your physical defense by 10. We are hit with a normal attack. The attacker will also suffer damage at 30% of the attack damage. It's not bad. We did just get that, that recipe too, so that's kind of nice to see that already here. Attacks will ignore all shields. Damage plus 10% when using enemies against uh, ranked against... Oh, that's actually really good. I like that. That's good. Daggers. Right up close and personal. Each attack applies one stack of physical defense minus 5. It's okay. I don't know if Lance. Lance does more damage and ignores shields. I like it. Maybe we'll even come back for the relics if we have enough gold later. The muscles are pretty expensive. Like, I think unless we get an event that gives us gold, I think that's pretty unlikely. Let's do a basic here. Um, 3% of magic. Let's do just get our dodge up. That's good. I mean, I don't think this is alone is going to get us to, you know, a thousand gold. We never know. Might get really lucky. Not that lucky, apparently. Okay. All right, a bunch of charge guys over here. I don't know why they charged in there. Oh, you're a big old jerk. They're trying to debuff me here. But we gotta go up right on him, I think. Oh, no, except. Okay, come on. Over here. None of that worked. He blinked away from me. I can do this, though. There. Suppress his spells. That's at least something. Ah, I shouldn't have stayed there, but that's okay. He's dead. Take the status condition, mostly because I don't really care. Okay, I'm going to teleport over to you and poke you. You're a jerk, and you're trying to hurt me. Broken. Um, I can't hurt you from here. So let me just grab this. Appreciate you stepping forward there, and you're dead. Okay. Uh, no, actually, grab that. Grab that. I was just gonna skip over it, but we should definitely grab it. And that is a tank sword. Okay, great. 
heal up because we took a lot of damage there. Challenge. Defeat all enemies in a single combo. Okay. All right. The magnet might have been helped with that. They are all... What are you, bishops? Okay. That helps them necessarily. They're going to move to... Do I get combos for hitting these guys with magic? I don't have another thing. Step over here so I can poke you. Oh, challenge failed. Yep, not good enough. Ah, uh, no, the coral aegis is not good either. Now that... Yeah, it just didn't work out. I think I needed to hit the magnet to be able to pull them all together. And that probably would have gotten me there. Wow, two dream keys for that. That better be damn good. I don't know what the... Oh, just one soul shard, but... I'm betting that holds more than the typical orange one we see. I bet that's like worth double. At least 200. Well, shit, man. It worked out so well last time. A little bit of gold back. Wow, lost it instantly. Okay, I mean, let's take the reward, I guess. I guess I can spin one, one more time. Okay, we got some gold back. But not as much as we spent. Always the rest. Hopefully we find some dream keys, because that seems pretty unlikely. Okay, you guys have all got to go. I have to break a objects in 10 turns. Well, I could do that with... If I come down here... Oh, that, that was supposed to... Well, oh, never mind. I'm gonna that. Grab that up a little bit. Guess you have room over here. Break these. Pretty much can't be doing anything else, though. I can do the Shield of Lightning. That's not really going to help. Poison, I guess, on you. And then it's gonna blink away from me. Now, I mean, we got 72%, which is good, but that was great. And I still need to kill you guys. I kinda wish you guys went away. Damn challenge. All they really do is just stop me from using magic, but they're still jerks. Magic blinks and knows what else. Okay, hardening potion removes drench debuff. I don't know if that matters. We're in the realm of king. It's not inside the ocean. If we're inside the ocean. I think that would have actually been maybe useful, but I don't know. What was that? A dream key? It was a dream key. You should just pick those up when you walk over. Of course, now I need a second one. All right, familiar crystal. Electricity is not a bad idea. The shun's kind of interesting, but I'm not using it very well. Oh, if we're gonna go up against Vlad, though, Nightmare might be the way to go. Yeah, let's trade up oh, for shun there. Because if we can actually block off his spin to win attacks, that would actually save the game. Okay, I need one more dream key. I'm not gonna be that way. Where do I need to go? Uh, I can go south over here. I'm try to save a heal for Vlad. Bleeding to kill one enemy. I think that's okay. Yeah, the boss is way up there. There should definitely be a fight in this room. I think we can do it. Just break two break point two extra times and damage adjacent enemies. Okay, I mean there's not a whole lot of edge adjacent here, but maybe it'll be fine. It is gonna hurt us quite a bit here though. We have to walk around this. 
lot of bleed. Okay, I want to blink up here. Oh, I have to kill you? And you're alone, aren't you? You have no friends with you. Well, that sucks for me. Uh, here, blink over here. Yeah, I wish you had friends, because then I might not die. Uh, here, I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the bleed didn't help, but having to stand right there because I used up all my blinks because I didn't want to bleed also didn't help. Well, damn, that was a quick run. Didn't we even get that many soul shards? Four sixty-five, I and mean, we can buy something. Uh, maybe not the familiar crystals. How about you? Next up on the blink potion might not be bad. Get two extra blinks. That's eight hundred. Okay, so I can't do that. Oh well, two discount options. That actually might be worth it. And that'll get me an extra key sometimes, which is also really good. Well, eventually, right? We have to buy that first. But still, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, let's get the item discounts. Okay. Well, short run, but those things happen. For right now, thanks for watching. This has been Crown Trick. I'm Peace Universe here, Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.